Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS. Rock a thumb now, you Akim. It's out there pushing this truth and the sincerity and the strength of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai on the four corners of the globe. We are here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel. We have Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi, the so called Haitians, um, Gad, the so called North American Indians, Reuben, the so called Seminole Indians, Issachar, the so called Mexicans. We have Zebulon, which is Guatemala to Panama, uh, Manasseh, the so called Cubans, Simeon, the so called Dominicans. Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, uh, Asher, Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali is Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one-third the elect, and two-thirds are set up for the destruction. And we all, the scriptures always, the scriptures say in uh, Corinthians 15 to 34, which a lot of times we bring out, it's time for to, to awake to righteousness, man. You know? It's time to wake up to righteousness because this this particular world that you know it is 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 at the end you know the, the course of this age of this world esau's kingdomship is at the end man so we have been bestowed on and showed mercy by yahweh to come out here and preach this word this is the most important thing that you can do right now is to push this word out there before the end comes you know you have you have um, you have a lot of groups out there. They 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 call themselves Israelites. They know the name, but they won't preach the name, or they preach some other kind of doctrine added in or taken away from the from the scriptures, right? So um, this is uh, Matthew 24, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come, right? It says this gospel, this is the good news, this is the good tidings, the scriptures, right? It says it will be preached, it will be proclaimed, right? And declared, and we will, and, and the men of the Lord are going to show you the things that's in this, in this book, the prophecies. It's going to be showed to you before the end comes. And it says, for witnesses unto all the nations, right? Even though we, we tell in other nations, their, their demise and their end, but that's when you look up, that's a 1484, that's ethnos, it's talking about these 12 tribes, because these 12 tribes of Israel, each tribe is a nation within itself, man. So we out here pushing to our people, you know? Eat before, and it said before the end comes, man, because the end is coming. Though it, it's tearing right now, it's not going to tear Tell you that in uh, Habakkuk. Come. No, it's Habakkuk. Two. Yeah, Habakkuk. Two. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to tarry, man. The Lord is going to come back the way he said he was. He's going to bring uh, race race riots. He's going to bring thermonuclear destruction. He's going to bring martial law. He's going to bring the, uh, have Esau and bring the chip. All this is orchestrated by the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So we out here pushing and proclaiming, you know, before that end come, man. And this is, this is a real important time we in right now, man. Um... Let me get uh, Luke 24 and 46. All right. Luke 24 and 46. Con. Luke 24. Con. And uh, Luke, resurrection. Luke 24 and uh, 46. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Luke 24 and uh, 46. And said unto them, Thus, Thus it shall be written, and thus behoove, behoove a Mashiach to suffer and to and to raise from the dead the third day. Con. So it, it was it was a, a must that he suffered, man. He had to go through that suffering. That's why we out here, we we going through the same sufferings that he, he went through, man. We're being persecuted by by uh these Edomites and these other nations We're being persecuted by our own people. We're being persecuted by our families and whatnot. So the suffering that he went through, we got to go through also, man. We trying to obtain uh, this glory, man. Yeah, and then see back then when Yahweh Shah was going through the suffering, they was looking at him as he, as if he was the problem. God. As if he was the problem, man. But the most I had him blind to fulfill him being a sacrifice. 
same way, same way, uh, same way Esau look at the whole nation of Israel. I'm talking about the two thirds too. He look at the whole nation of Israel as a problem on the earth and not the solution. The problem on the earth is the so-called white man. Right. Okay. The solution is two thirds got to go and the elect get delivered and the kingdom of heaven be ushered in and righteous. That's a solution and, 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 and that will be peace in our time and peace on the earth. Right now, they running rapid and wicked and doing all abominable acts. All right. All right. Verse 47, and that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in all his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Right. So it says repentance. You know what repentance is? What when you change, when you reform your mind, when you change your mind, uh, 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 abhorrence against the uh, past sins that you committed, right? And it says, and that repentance and remission of sins, that remission is being freed and pardoned from those sins. Like we 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 are thankful that Yahweh Shem Yahshua showed enough mercy to pardon us from them past sins to bring us into this truth, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing within itself because he could have easily left us uh, being a damn two-third and blinded, you know? And it says... Because it easily left us being a two-thirds and committing adultery, you know, fornicating against him by worshiping things, not knowing that you was worshiping them. And... Uh, and you doing it out of ignorance, not even knowing. And you continually do it because you ain't being punished for it. And if you do get punished for it, you don't know why you getting punished for it. It's like you, it's like you just blind as a bat, man. But the Most High had mercy on us to wake us up and able to discern what's what's good and what's wicked, uh, pleasing towards Him. You know? Okay. And that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in in his name. See, in his name. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, not Jehovah, not uh Christ, you know, not uh Allah. It says it shall be preached, man, proclaimed in his name, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. It says among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. There that word go nations again. That's a 1484. It says it's gonna be preached because these 12 tribes of Israel, like I just stated, each one of these uh tribes is a nation within itself, man. You know, and, and um I'm gonna back that up with Psalms 22 and 27. It says, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord Yahweh, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. The word kindred. I'm going to look that word up. Kindred. Uh, more edified, man. No, further edified. That's uh, 22 27. And, it's, and that word kindred Kindred is a Hebrew 49:40, which that word is a uh, mash mash uh, mashpa mashpaka a clan, a family, a tribe, a people, a nation, a species, a kind. It says from 81:92 compared to 81:98, a family that is a circle of relatives. Vigorously, a class of persons, a species or sort of things, by extension, a tribe or people, a family. So them, them Israelites, man. Read that again. Luke 26 and 47. And that repentance and remissions of sin shall be preached in his name among all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things, man. You know, and that's why we, the, the, the scriptures are the witness, right? The first witness. And we witnesses that this is happening, man. Because we see, we seen our elders preach this word to the, uh, to the uh, nations, the tribes, right? 
and we out here through the spirit and how about shooting outside, we doing it now ourselves, man. You know? I'm a witness that this brother's preaching the truth, and he a witness that I, I'm doing it, and the scriptures is bearing witness itself, man. You know? So that, that's the main thing, man, that we out here doing. We proclaiming it, man. We pushing it out there. That's one of our duties, man. That, that's, that's a duty by the, this, this law right here to do it. You know? I got one more. Uh, because you got a lot of camps, man. They out there, but they ain't really doing it the right way, man. And this is uh, First Corinthians, and we go on into it. First Corinthians, uh... First Corinthians nine and sixteen. And it says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yeah, woe unto me me if I preach not the gospel. Right? And it says, For though I preach the gospel, even though we come out here and we push this word and we proclaim it, right? It says, there is nothing to glory of. Ain't, no, ain't nothing to boast about it. Ain't nothing to boast of, man. We service, man. We labor, man. You know? With fear, man. And, and reverence to you. How about you, man? Shot, man, this ain't nothing that we ain't going to boast on this just because we out here doing it. Right? Edification. Come for edification, man. Of the, of, the, of the tribes, man, and and mainly the uh the elect, man. You know, and it says, for necessity is laid up on me because this is our duty, man. Once you once you how about shooting out shot, man, wake you up, man, and, and show mercy to get you out of that bondage and that imprisonment of being in this world and bring you into this, man. It's it's a it's one of your duties to get out here and push this word, man, and proclaim it the right way, man. And it says, for necessity is laid upon me, yeah, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. So destruction to me if I don't preach the, the gospel the right way. And you got camps out there that's not preaching the right way, man. So it's going to be destruction unto them, man. Right. You know? Okay. So this is Isaiah. So that's why we out here. That's one of the main reasons why we out here, man, to proclaim this gospel the correct way, man, to edify, man. That's why we out here, man. You know? And we out here, like I said, doing this before the end comes, man. You know? Got one more? Got anything else? We'll go I just six more. Start to talk. Okay. Matter of fact, that was one of them precepts I had, too. That's the spirit. <laughs> that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. that's the spirit. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said it so well. It says Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me because the Lord Yahweh have anointed me. What? Have anointed me. Have anointed me. That's what Isaiah is saying. So the same way Isaiah got anointed, the same way we got anointed, and the rest of the brothers who teaching that sincerity and truth in GMS. Go ahead. Okay. And it says, um, to that's me. That's what we set up to do. Like the brother was going into. That's what we set up to do, man. We set up to be uh, priests and prophets, man. That's what we set up to do. Go ahead. Okay. And it says, preach good tidings unto the meek. Unto the who? The meek. That's the humble. Out of the nation of Israel. Okay. And the elect is the one that's going to be humble. Go ahead. He have sent me to to the blind to, to the bind blind. to bind up the brokenhearted. To lock it. To, 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 to the blind. To bind up the brokenhearted. Just like I was saying earlier. And just like his brother was saying. He could have left us in the world. But the elders, starting with the elders, they went out there and started teaching to the blind and the brokenhearted. And we've seen it. Okay? The blind, basically, you can't see. You don't know what's going on in the world. You don't know you're an Israelite. You don't know you're in captivity. Okay? You don't know Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man. You don't know he's actually uh, 
uh, red 